Do you know the difference between hail and sleet, though? I'm not going to even go ahead and say that I do because I actually don't. Well, but you're going to teach us. Yes. Tune in, everyone. For those of you that may just be having this kind of in the background, I want you to pay attention just for a second. Now, this is a normal temperature map that we show every day. Temperatures right now in Springfield, 34 degrees. So it has north, south, east, and west. But we also have to forecast in three dimensions. We also have to forecast a column of air. And this blue column, uh, for example, is a column of air all below 32 degrees. So when snow falls, it falls and reaches the ground. That's when we would get accumulations of all snow. So when we forecast three to six inches of snow, we see that the entire column of air above us is supportive of snowfall. But if there happens to be one layer of that atmosphere that happens to be above 32 degrees, what happens, snow falls, it hits that layer and melts, but there may be a layer right along the lower atmosphere that allows that rain to refreeze, and that's how we get sleet. So that's sleet, that is a wintertime phenomenon. What we also have is we have hail. Hail, once again, a frozen type of precipitation, but this is in the summertime. We have a strong updraft that really brings water molecules really high in the atmosphere. You're talking six or seven miles in the atmosphere, and by then, these water droplets are frozen. And what you, ha what you see is frozen molecules uh, collect some of these other raindrops, start to get a little bit bigger, and gravity takes hold, and it drops that hailstone. And these hailstones can do a few of these different cycles, so that's what gets them really, really big. And by the time gravity can no longer, or gravity takes hold, that falls as hail. A little bit different than sleet. One is in the summer and one is in the winter. And one cool thing about hail is you can actually slice it open and the amount of times it actually makes it up and down within a storm, you can count the number of rings, almost like a tree that you would cut down. So there is the difference there. 